Hello there everybody, it's Little Funfetti. Welcome back to my Age Regression channel. I am so, so excited to make today's video because I've been gathering up these questions for a wee bit and I'm ready to get this out there. I've seen a few Age Regression channels here and there making like Q&As or like age re, you know, question videos in general and I couldn't help but hop on the bandwagon and you guys submitted me some great questions on my Tumblr and I'm super excited to get into them. So without further ado, let's get into them. But first, before I get into any of the fun stuff, this is something I need to talk about real quick because it's kind of been a burgeoning issue on my Tumblr and sometimes my YouTube channel. This is to clarify everything, and from now on, we're going to have one of these fun little disclaimers before any time I post any content. If you are a kinkster, you're part of the DDLG community, ABDL, anything along, the, along those lines that sexualizes age aggression or infantilism, I don't want you consuming my content. I don't want you following my Tumblr. Just don't touch my stuff. It makes me feel incredibly uncomfortable. You're breaking my boundaries, and you're pretty much breaking the boundaries of all my age regression viewers, too. This isn't a direct attack on the community, but I have been dealing with a lot of really jerky kinksters on Tumblr, and they're kind of driving me crazy. So, I'm just gonna put this out there, and this is gonna be on every single video for now on, and in my descriptions, too. Do not engage with my content if you're part of the communities I just mentioned. I don't want your kinky shit involved with my stuff, okay? Cool, let's answer some questions. The first question I'll be answering today is how long I have been regressing. I have been regressing pretty much since I was about 12 years old. Just right after my, um, like, you know, childhood was transitioning to my preteen years, that's when I started dealing with a lot of trauma. And as a result, my brain was like involuntary, just like boop, and was just kind of slipping into that headspace. And I didn't realize what I was doing, and probably until I was like 16 ish, because like you just, I didn't have enough resources to really know what I was doing. And it's so important that. Even if you're young, like you're in your preteens to teen years, that people need to know what age regression is and what it looks like and that it's okay and normal. Because I have been regressing for a very long time and I unfortunately didn't have the resources I needed until very, very, very recently. Um, yeah, it's it's been typically the same interest too. I was very, and still am, very into Melody Pony. That's been my special interest since you know, I was 12 years old, and I'm turning 20 this year, so it's been a very long running thing. Uh, stuffed animals, stuff like that. I just found myself integrally very, very, very drawn to those things. Like, I would rewatch Barbie movies. I was obsessed with Disney movies. All these things are still true today, but I was very, very ashamed of it. And unfortunately, I just didn't tell anybody about it really because I was not in a great living situation. But now I've came to terms with the fact that like, this is okay, this is great, and I am much happier knowing that I am living the sort of lifestyle now, and I'm accepting that part of my recovery, and things have been getting a lot better. So this goes out to any relatively young regressors, like if you're 12 and up, and you're kind of discovering your regression, there's no right way to regress. Do what you slip into easiest. You're not obligated to explain anything to anyone. You're not obligated to tell people anything. But it's okay to be vocal about your regression if you're in a space where you're comfortable with that. And there's no such thing as having too much of it or not doing it enough. It's your way of coping, whether it's voluntary or not, and there's nothing wrong with it. So, yeah, been regressing since I was about 12 years old. So, without a doubt, obviously my favorite age regression activity would 100% be coloring. I'm a pretty creatively inclined person. I really like doing artwork. I like writing. I like painting. I, I just, I'm constantly creating something. And coloring is just such a relaxed, nostalgic way of doing it. Like, there's no right way or wrong way to color. You just go crazy and do whatever you want. And it's great. It's 
such a happy place to be in and like there's so many different coloring books and it's super cheap it's free honestly like if you already have crayons if you have a printer just bing 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 bing, bing print that stuff out the second favorite age regression activity of mine would definitely have to be playing with my little ponies special interest time so boop boop um i was a bio kid whenever g3 was a thing and i also grew up through g3.5 so any of those and then on top of that i was you know in my pre-teens to early teens there were the uh, model pony g4 phenomenon took off and like everybody loved my little pony like regardless of age and that was like a really cool time period honestly um so i have a lot of g4 merchandise <laughs> Um, I'm thinking about actually doing a Mellow Pony collection video soon. I have all these video ideas. I need to just nail some down, just do them consecutively. But, like, priorities are hard. <laughs> but, um, yeah, 100% would have to be coloring. I really, really love coloring. My favorite age regression item is a really hard question to answer because I love all of my age regression stuff which is basically almost everything i own because i like even outside of my age regression i just have a genuine love and appreciation for toys and cute stuff um yeah basically almost everything i own is age regression related with the exception of like anime figures and manga because i am a massive weeb um but i definitely have some recent favorites because they kind of fluctuate it really depends on like where I'm at regression wise. This is a very recent pickup, but it would definitely have to be this little clown friend. I really like cute clowns. His name is Kazoing. That's not like his official name because he's a play school clown. But he's just very stimmy. He's got like Velcro shoes. And he's got a little shoelace you can tie. He's got a zipper pocket. He's got a little clicky bow tie which you can pop off but I do not have the brute strength to do so. Oh wait, yes I do. I'm a champion. He has a crinkly little headband, crink or squeaky little hand, and then crinkly little other hand. I just love him. He's so cute and I just absolutely adore him. I hate that clowns are like a scary thing because I really really like cute and lovable clowns and like he is the definition of a good clown. I love him. My other two favorite age regression items, like, if I ever just want to go, like, head first in regression, this rattle is amazing. It's by Bright Stars. I got this at a uh, Myers for, like, $5, and just, I don't know why, but it has the good shake. Like, it's got that good little shake shake to it. And, like, it's just got that perfect, like, cutesy regression color scheme that I really like. It's got like mirrors that are all wacky in one and it's just it's so cute and I like the little loop in the middle like I feel so tiny with this thing this immediately gets me into like an age rehead space if you guys have been on my blog you have definitely seen this little fella pop up and this is actually probably my genuine favorite item I'm not gonna lie this is another recent pickup which you'll be seeing a post on soon it's this Little Secrets Shopkins Ballet Studio. Oh god, she's falling. No, she's really small. This is like the cutest thing I've ever seen. It's $10 at Walmart, which is like so cheap for a toy this nice. And like, it's got a shoe rack and a cash register. And if you go up the stairs, there's like a stage and stuff. And you can put your little shoppy. And by the way, it comes with one super, super, super tiny shoppy. Put her on there. And then she can spin and dance and have like a little twirl. It's so cute and everything I've ever wanted in a toy. Um, and one of the coolest things about it is that you close it up and you can go ba-doom. Oh, did I do it right? No, wait, it didn't. <laughs> Crap, there we go. And look at the outside. It's so cute. Like, it is a Adorable. This is so much better than the new Polly Pockets, in my opinion. And the key that you use to unlock it is so cute, and it fits on the back of this little notch. It's so cute. I just bought another one of these that's like an arcade that's like cotton candy themed. And it makes me so happy. I absolutely love Moose and Chopkins. 
It's probably like my favorite toy company right now. Please go buy these. They're great. <laughs> So, this might be a bit of a polarizing answer, um, and my relationship with the age read community hasn't always been positive, not with what anything I've done, it's just I think I joined the community at the wrong time, in the wrong headspace, in the wrong place. I first discovered age regression when I was 16, and I learned about DDLG when I was 14. And that is a big problem <laughs> because when you are a minor in the DDLG community, you are told about how bad the age rate community is and blah 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 and like, kink's safe for work and it's okay for minors to be there when it's not. <laughs> and I was given a very very kind message by, I don't think they're on Tumblr anymore, but this is like when I ran a DDLG Tumblr blog and I was like 14, no, 15, 16. This is when I got converted-ish. Yes, yeah, so it was about 16, actually. A very, very, very nice person was like, hey, you know, you're a minor and I'm kind of worried about your safety. What you're participating isn't even kink, but you're in a kink space. You need to get out. Here are some resources and go check this out because you're actually age regressing. I was like, what? Because, like, I never looked into it until that person told me about it. And I was like, oh my god. My mind is being blown. Like, freaking rainbows are erupting from my head or whatever. Like, this is nuts. And I completely converted over the age regression community. And I joined the age regression community right in the middle of the, I think, was the Chire and Kid Heart and Teeny Tot discourse that like erupted on Tumblr. And I was so confused and weirded out because like when I initially joined, well it was about two or three months before the discourse erupted, and I was like, oh, Chire's cool and Teen Tots too, but what's going on with Kid Heart? And all of a sudden, all this drama just came out of nowhere. And I'm like, buddy, I'm just trying to regress. Like I just learned a bit about myself. I just wanna have a good time, play with some stuffed animals, and talk about my mental health and heal and grow as a person. And I don't remember the specifics because it was all so convoluted and confusing, but it got so stressful because I was having people call me out anonymously and being like, you're reblogging this, you should be reblogging that, and this community did this, and this community did that. I'm like, I don't know what's going on. Like, I'm 16. I'm very mentally ill, and I came here to escape, but <laughs> so I finally took a break from the Tumblr age regression community for about a year and a half, almost two years. I just completely abandoned it, I just started regressing in private again, and I realized that I kind of hated doing that privately, and I finally rediscovered the age regression community again when I was about 18, and I haven't looked back. Because I absolutely love it here. And I've made so many wonderful friends in this community. And everyone's so nice. And for those of you who don't know, I'm not in a particular community. I'm not a chire. I'm not a kid heart. I'm not any of that stuff. I'm just an age regressor. And if you guys are curious about my DNI, feel free to check out my blog. It's on the top banner. Um, but yeah, I joined originally to kind of find solidarity and see if there are other people like me. And there are, and it's a really positive, wonderful space, and I just like how we all band together and we're all very chill and cool and, and adorable, and I love it. 10 out of 10, I really love, like, the modern age regression community. So, as somebody who owns almost 112 different stuffed animals, I'm going to have problems picking a favorite. <laughs> I can think of probably maybe a top five, but due to time constraints, I'm going to show you just three. And my favorites kind of fluctuate so often it doesn't even really matter. So like, here are some current faves. First one is this puppy cat plush. B in puppy cat is probably my favorite cartoon of all time. It is very important to me. It's very nostalgic to me. It really helped me with my identity when I was younger. 
I have like an unadulterated love for being Puppy Cat. And I really love watching it in and out of regression, mostly out. But for some reason, just this Puppy Cat plushie, it's just like, boop, with my regression. And then I'm small. Like, I just, I love this Puppy Cat plushie. He is missing the bell, and he does not talk anymore. And I'm pretty sure they don't sell him anymore, unfortunately. But he's just so important to me. And he was, like, the first nerdy gift I ever really got from a family member before, like, in my preteen years. And he just means a lot. The next favorite stuffy I have is absolutely this ginormous Kirby plushie. Simply on the fact that whenever I saw him in Target, I screamed. <laughs> because I love Kirby so much. <laughs> Um, I might post this soon. I have a battle jacket themed around Kirby because it's like one of my favorite franchises in the whole world. But he's just so big and cute and he's squishy and he's soft and he was $30 so he was kind of expensive. But oh I just love him. Oh my god. And then the last favorite I have currently is just this big old caterpillar fella. His name is Pom Pom. He's got little antlers, or antenna, not antlers. And he's pretty sizable. Like, he's he can fit like a good old scarf. I had a very good friend of him, a friend of mine in high school, gift him to me, actually. She was super, super accepting of my regression, and she was like, hey, ba bam And I just adore him. And I really, really like big stuffies, because as someone who is... 5 foot 11 and it has a very broad figure. It's really hard for me to physically feel small. So like big stuffies. Good stuff. Really spicy. Spicy pepperoni. Really chef kiss. Just mwah, love big stuffed animals. So this last question is actually one that I kind of struggled to answer for a really long time because it's kind of hard to find that like perfect baby bottle because like the adult ones are really expensive and often like you know from kink shops and on the other hand the infant ones are super 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 tiny and really uncomfortable to use my best answer for you is that actually weirdly enough Wal not Walmart Dollar Tree is the best place to get like usable baby bottles I don't know why, but they always carry bigger ones, at least in my personal experience, and they carry a multitude of different characters, mainly Disney, but you also have some Sesame Street ones. The ones that I have are actually currently in storage, so I unfortunately can't like go whoop and show you which ones I own, but baby bottles are a lot harder to parse versus like sippy cups, because I feel like sippy cups are such a broad selection of sizes. But with baby bottles, that's a difficult one for me to answer. So your best bet would 100% be Dollar Tree. So those are all of the questions that I got for this Q&A. Please go to the description down below and check out these wonderful, wonderful people on Tumblr. They all have fantastic blogs. And I want this to be kind of a way to connect the age regression community even more. So if you run a blog or an Instagram page or a YouTube channel, Please comment below and tell me about your page and what you run and how you do. And also your DNI, just to be safe. I hope everyone's having a fantastic day and please stay safe and have a good one.